Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about foundations. I can't believe I haven't made a video like this in all the years that I've been making YouTube videos, but I think it is very overdue. So today I'm gonna to be talking about basics when it comes to foundation and how to pick the right foundation for yourself, whether you are going to a drugstore to purchase a foundation or you're going to a department store and getting help in picking one. So when I worked for MAC, there were three questions that I asked all of my customers. What kind of skin do you have? How much coverage are you looking for? And how do you like your skin to look after foundation has been applied? So being able to answer those three questions will help guide you in the uh, direction of picking the perfect foundation for you. So what do I mean when I say what kind of skin do you have? So is your skin dry? Is it oily? Do you have dry patches? Is your skin more on the mature side? Being in tune with the type of skin that you have will help you to pick the perfect foundation. The reason that you should know what kind of skin you have is important because different foundations are perfect for different types of skin. There are foundations out there that are made just for oily skin. Same thing with dry, combination. So uh, being aware of your skin type is very important. And then coverage. Uh, how much coverage are you looking for? And it always sort of boggled my mind that people didn't understand what that meant. So what I mean by coverage is, are you looking to sort of blank out your skin, make it a blank canvas? Uh, are you wanting to just sort of even out your skin tone? So being able to answer that question is just as important. So. We have sheer foundations, light, medium, and full coverage, and then somewhere in between. So an example of a sheer coverage would be something like a tinted moisturizer or some BB creams. Now, having said that, there are certain BB creams and tinted moisturizers that do give you quite a bit of coverage. But if you're looking for something that is typically on the sheer side, those are the type of foundations that you would go for. Um, Max Face and Body is a sheer to light foundation. So what that means is it will lightly even out your skin tone, but if you have things like discolorations or freckles, scarring, or let's say you have a blemish, a sheer coverage will not cover those things completely. Again, it's just going to sort of even out the skin tone and that's it. Next up is light coverage. Light coverage will obviously give you a little bit more uh, evening of the skin tone, but it still will not completely cover the look of freckles, blemishes, and so on. Uh, medium coverages. A medium coverage is good for people that are looking to have a nice canvas to work with, but aren't too concerned with completely covering the look of freckles and things like that. There are certain foundations out there that are known as medium buildable, which means you can build it up to probably a full coverage, for instance, like MAC Studio Fix is a medium to full coverage. And then full coverage. Think of a mannequin. A full coverage is, is going to completely erase the look of any freckles, blemishes, discolorations. So think about a mannequin when you think of full coverage, as in that perfect base. Next up, how do you like your skin to look after the foundation is on? Now sometimes this can be a difficult question for people to answer if you've never worn foundation before. But I feel like people in general have an idea of what they like their skin to look like. So, having said that, certain foundations are going to give you a different type of finish to your skin. So, dewy, satin, matte. A matte finished foundation, zero shine. You will have no shine to your skin whatsoever. Satin finish is somewhere in between a dewy look and a matte look. A satin finish is a little bit of shine. What you want to think of when you think of a satin finish is um, when you wash your face and it dries naturally and you have that sort of like natural sort of sheen to your skin, that's kind of like the finish of a satin foundation. And then dewy. Dewy is definitely on the shiny side. So if you already have really oily skin, you may want to steer clear of certain foundations that will leave a dewy finish. Sometimes those types of foundations, they don't play well with oil, so your skin is going to look extremely shiny. Foundations that are going to leave your skin appearing dewy might be favorable for those of you that have dry skin or more mature skin. So when you go to buy a foundation that says illuminating, think of a dewy finish. Other things that you want to consider when purchasing a foundation. Uh, are you going to be photographed? If so, you want to steer clear of anything that has a high SPF. Why? Because SPF will flash back. It will make your skin look really light in a photograph. Also, what time of year is it? Is it spring, summer, fall, winter? Being aware of the time of year can also be helpful in picking out a foundation. I know for me personally, in the summertime, I sweat, 
my skin gets a little bit more on the oily side so I want to steer clear of foundations that have illuminating properties to them or foundations that are known to have more of a dewy finish the reason being if I'm outside or I'm, I'm sweating or let's say my skin is a little bit more on the oily side what's gonna happen my foundation is going to start lifting off of my skin and what do I mean by that it's almost going to have like a, a sort of melted look to it the foundation just isn't going to sit right so being aware of the time of year is also helpful in choosing a foundation a lot of times those of us that are prone to sweating or an increase in oil production like foundations that either set or have a long wear to them now I'm very familiar familiar with MAC foundations, which is why I keep sort of referring to them, but foundations like MAC's Pro Longwear, really good for the summertime. If you have dry skin, not so good for you in the wintertime. Also, another suggestion that I can make is to always have two different foundations, because for most of us, our skin changes with the seasons. You're not going to be as dark in the winter as you are in the summer, right? So it doesn't make sense to try to use the same foundation all year round. Even if you wear SPF, your skin will still get a little bit of color. My skin tone varies from summer to winter, as does most people. So because of that fact, I have several different shades of foundation. So make sure that you're aware. Also, um, in those in-between seasons, you can mix the two foundations to come up with your perfect color. For most of us, it's not feasible to have four different foundations, so having at least two and mixing them will work for you in the in-between season. So that's it. I just very quickly wanted to come on and do a little bit of explaining as far as like foundations go and what you should be aware of and the certain questions that you may be asked when you go to a counter uh, to look for a foundation. Also, if you're going to be purchasing your foundation from a drugstore, you should still be able to answer those questions. A lot of times, all you have to do is just read the packaging and everything that you need to know will be right there. Now, a lot of times they won't come out and say, this foundation is good for oily skin or this foundation is good for dry skin. But if you look for certain words like illuminating, illuminating foundation, you're gonna have more of a dewy finish. Uh, if you have oily skin, you may wanna look for words like shine free. Um, those finishes will most likely be matte. So anyway, I hope that you guys find this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to go in depth on anything, please leave that down below and I'd be, I'd be happy to help. If you're looking for suggestions for foundations, uh, I can only make suggestions based on what I've used, which is obviously MAC, um, Chanel, NARS, I have used Guerlain. So I can make suggestions or help to a point, but only on the uh, brands that I am familiar with. If you guys would like to see any other sort of like basics or 101 type videos, please let me know down below in the comments. So that's it, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.